Hi and thank you for joining me. In this video we're going to have a look at multiplying and dividing within the world of algebra. There's one thing you might want to have a look at before this topic and that is the laws of indices. I'm going to put a link to that in the description below. Uh, other than that, I hope you find this useful. Unfortunately, if we're going to start this topic properly, we have to do so by considering some of the rules. So let's have a look at five rules we need to learn. This rule number one, we are looking at a term and that term is 3AB. Now in algebra, because we do not put the multiplication sign, we simply put things next to each other. We can say that 3AB simply means 3 times a times b. Now let's have a look at rule two. This is a b squared. Now when we have a term like this, we have to realize that the squared only applies to the b. So what we actually have here is a times b squared. Now we know that b squared means b times b, so in fact this term a b squared is actually a times b times b. On the other hand, if we look at rule 3, we now have a set of brackets around the a b and the squared is on the outside. This means that in this case the squared doesn't apply just to the b as it did in the previous example but it applies to everything inside those brackets so actually it is now telling us that we have a squared times b squared and again we can spread that even further out because a squared is a times a and b squared is b times b so the brackets mean everything inside squared. Rule 4, we have a to the power 7, and this simply tells us how many a's we have multiplied together. So a to the 7 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 a's all multiplied together. Rule 5, a over b. This is another algebraic shortcut in that we don't use the divide sign. We put one below the other. So a over b actually means a divided by b. And it doesn't end there. We also have to consider the law of indices. This is where we have, in this case, the letter m and it is squared and we are multiplying by m to the power 3. In this case, the laws of indices tell us that if we are multiplying two letters with powers, then we don't actually multiply at all. Instead, we add the powers. So m squared times n to the cubed actually equals m to the 5. It is simply the 2 plus the 3. And the opposite is also true if we are dividing a letter with the powers. So m to the power 5 divided by m to the power 2, then we subtract the powers. So we simply say 5 minus 2 is 3, so the answer is m to the power 3. That is quite a number of rules to take in all at once, so if you are still not sure about any of them, please do go back to this video and have another look through them before we go further. Let's have a look at some example questions then, and you'll notice that the word simplify appears here. That's what we're asked to do to make each of these expressions simpler. So the first one is a times a times a times a times a. And here, because we can use the rules of indices, we know there are one, two, three, four, five of them. So the answer is a to the power five. Now in this second example here, we have letters and numbers. And the simple rule is we work through the numbers first, multiplying them as normal, then go through each of the letters, usually alphabetically. 
So first of all, it will be three times two is six, times two is 12. So the numbers work out as 12. The first of the letters is A. There is just one single A here, so we write it in. There's nothing to multiply it with. Then we move on to the Bs, and there is a B here and a B here, so we are multiplying B times B, and B times B is B squared. So our answer becomes 12AB squared. Our third example is a division. We have 4x to the power 5 divided by 2x squared. The first thing we do again is look at the numbers. 4 divided by 2, well that is 2. x to the power 5 divided by x squared. The rule is when we are dividing we subtract the indices so we end up with x and 5 minus 2 is 3. 2x to the power 3. And finally, I want to have a look at a couple of examples that work a little differently. Here we have 4x cubed divided by 8x squared. Now, we deal with the numbers first, as always, and here we have 4 over 8. Now, this is a fraction, 4 eighths. So all we need to do with the numbers is to simplify them, and 4 over 8 simplify down to 1 half. We then look at the x's. We have an x cubed and an x squared. So following the rules, it's going to be 3 take away 2. Therefore, we end up with x to the power 1. Now, x to the power 1 is simply x. So we end up with 1x over 2, which can also be written quite simply as a half x. The bottom one is similar, but we just need to remember what the rules are about indices. The numbers again, we have 3 over 9, so they will simplify down to 1 third. We then have x squared divided by x, and this is where we have to remember an x on its own is the same as x to the power 1, although it's not there. It is x to the power 1, therefore it is 2 subtract 1. 2 subtract 1 is 1, therefore we end up with just an x. 1x over 3, or 1 third of x. Well, I hope you did find that useful. If you did, the subscribe button is right below me here. The next video we're going to look at is expanding brackets, and here's a link to it at the side. Thank you for joining me.